Hi, you're looking at our patent recognition system here uh, that helps identify uh, market changes, market turns, and um, hopefully uh, gives you a good idea of what the trend is going to be. So essentially, it's a, it's a forecasting tool based on some proprietary algorithms. Um, this system is about 70% accurate. Uh, there's times when it uh, appears to be more than that, and there are times when it appears to give more foul signals. Um, we've run the analysis over varying periods of time and we found it to be about 70 percent accurate on average. So let's focus first on the red and green signal indicators. Uh, looking at right there in the center of your screen, you can see the down signal and then followed uh, later in 1995 by an up signal. First the down signal. One of the most important things to realize is that these down signal indicators and up signal indicators do not tell you how long the trend is going to last. So while they can identify a trend, they give you no information about its duration. In this particular case, notice the down signal. This occurred on November 4th, 1994. The open, the close, this was a lower week, a red bar, so we closed the week down. The following week really didn't confirm this because you notice the trading didn't happen lower than the previous signal. So this was not a confirmation. Again, an interesting situation right here. The close, these two next following weeks, the market really stayed in the same place. Uh, trade, tried to trade higher, made two attempts at trading higher, and both were defeated by the... And then finally here we got a, a lower close. So this confirms the signal. We went lower and lower. Again, notice that we really didn't trade for more than three weeks down after, after the confirmation of the signal. Now we ended up right here, and we'll talk about the second algorithm, the yellow and the blue uh, stars. We'll look at that algorithm later. But for now, we're looking at the red and the green. Um, let's look at now the up signal that was uh, shown right here on... February 3rd, 1995. We got the signal here. This particular week, the algorithm gave, gave us a, an up signal. Following week, we traded higher. So that confirmed it. And of course, we don't know how long this is going to last. But in this particular case, it lasted for quite a while. In fact, if you take a look, you can see that we lasted all the way until 1996, where we finally got a down signal. So let's take a look at the stars. This is the second algorithm that is used together with the first to give you a better hedge in the market. Notice on the top right of the screen, a cluster of alternating yellow and blue stars. What you'll notice is that this ha happened near the peak, right before a, a rather big move in the market downwards. This is an interesting cluster because there was no indication from the primary algorithm, what we call the, red, the green and the red algorithm, um, no warning other than this cluster of stars. So you needed to pay attention to those. Um, they don't tell you the direction, unlike the up and down signals that we get from the red, red and green algorithm. Uh, you have to infer the direction based on what the market was doing before the occurrence of the stars. In this case, the market was heading up, the stars happened, and then there was a big reversal. So that is the uh, meaning of the star cluster. Uh, notice in this case right here, there's one star all the way by itself. Uh, the mark was heading down, reversed a little bit with one star. You can take that as, as a reversal of the previous trend, but it's not as powerful as these right here. This is a far more powerful indicator of the following, the trend to follow. Here are a few, here's a good example of where the star algorithm doesn't really convey any meaning. Um, here's one instance right here where it occurred in the middle of a, of a trend. Uh, again, what you look for is when you notice the star, if this is going to be a reversal from the previous trend, is look what happens the following week. Uh, we're lower, so it doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Uh, here's another example where in an uptrend that's last day one, two, three weeks, on the fourth week we get a star. Is that the top? 
Well, what happens in the next week? No, we're actually closing at a high opening and closing at a higher point uh, than the previous week. So these are uh, ignored. Um, and the same thing here, you can notice that it's just a continuation. We don't know why the algorithm does that. Um, we're working on eliminating those, but that's going to be an ongoing project. So let's take a look at the interaction or rather the signals that you get when you combine both algorithms the star and the arrows. Um, as you know, the primary algorithm uh, gives us the longer term trend reversals uh, and, and tends to be more accurate are the up signals. However, um, when you get a cluster of star signals, which is, uh, as you can see right here, this particular cluster uh, came and gave us a very good indication of the bottom of the market right there before, in fact, this happened many weeks before we finally got the up signal. So um, that secondary algorithm is what we call the star algorithm, has, does have some value, uh, but it does have to be taken into context. You do have to take into account what happened before you got the cluster of stars, uh, because there's times when they're very chatty, you see a lot of different stars um, in an uptrend, and it doesn't necessarily mean that there's gonna be a reversal. Uh, so if it's been very silent, there's been no stars, as you can see throughout this period right here, um, there were no stars in the previous uh, seven, eight months, and all of a sudden you get a cluster of stars right here. Uh, that's a very good indication that something's going to happen.